Pumbaa wants a... Attention? No, she wants the squirrels. Good. Sometimes he has to put... It's, he was flying, the squirrel stopped in its tracks, and it was like from here to Ashley. When you guys were live yesterday, I was up here prepping smalls, and I kept hearing like something playing in a trash can down at Sloths. At Sloths? Yeah. It sounded like someone playing in a trash can, so I walked down there, didn't see anything, walked back up, and then it got louder. So I'm like, come on, Milo, let's go get him. <laughs> and we went down around the corner, there were squirrels, but... All your trash cans had lids on them, so I don't know what they were doing. I keep They're all like, my lids on. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> it's Alvin and Chipmunks. If that's the case, the sanctuary is safe! If you start hearing the squeaky voices... All I want to hold is <laughs> Dylan was obsessed with the Chipmunk movies. You know what? It's been a long time since I've seen it, but... I had... It's funny. I think I might have it on record somewhere. Oh, I'm talking about a live That's action PTSD one. For me. Records? No, Alvin and Chipmunks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there there was this one Christmas. We had a 15,000 watt system in our living room. Right? So no we had, way. No. Two RAM speakers behind each sofa, like on stand above here. Two, like, RAM speakers. Then we had four JBL ram, or ramps, bases. So those were the highs and the lows and then the mids that were for his show. So like when we went on shows, we had to take all of that out of the house. That's so ridiculous. So because, and then we also used it for when my mom used to sing and do choir or like with her, sing with her family, Dave would bring his sound system and set it up so like when they came over and practice, we had all the microphone plugins and all the, it, it was ridiculous. Anyway, one year on Christmas, he opened the window on the side and he put the RAM speaker out and he blasted Alvin's and the Chipmunks. We had somebody walk all the way up from Washington Park, which is probably about a, from the campgrounds, 25 minute walk or so, walk all the way up from the campgrounds knock on our door on christmas morning and say my family and i are trying to enjoy a christmas morning uh camping <laughs> and all we can hear is your music so can you turn please it turn it down she she literally walked out he goes oh okay sorry about that he walked out and he cranked it up double what it was <laughs> which is why he loves his oh way to go there tim <laughs> could have been worse i could have said other things and so he cranks it up, and all of a sudden you just hear, like, it goes from, all I want, all I I mean, and he played it on freaking repeat. So we're in the house going, this is miserable, you know, that's, right? that's considered torture, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Are you kidding me? I think uh, I could easily just, you know, flashing lights and all that stuff. Like, I could just sit there and just be like, oh, this is Didn't he do something childhood. pretty close with the next door neighbors? Why you didn't? The neighbors didn't get along? No, so he, one of his neighbors was, was complaining. Like leaf blower or something? No. Oh, pressure washer. That's... That was what set him off to gotcha. where, like, he was unreasonable. But, like, was it with this one? No, it was at my house, at Skyline. I mean, with this pressure washer, though. Yeah. But it was at 4 o'clock. It was unreasonable, the neighbor. Like, the neighbor came out, and he's like, I'm trying to sleep, I'm working nights. And Dave's like, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, like, I have every right to pressure wash. And the guy started yelling profanities at him. So, I mean, like, it was a rightful argument of just, like, it was... And so Dave just goes, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. And he just was... Anyway, the other thing that happened, though... I'm trying to remember. I already lost my train of thought of what happened. Another thing with noise, right? Oh! So, he would park his semi on Skyline. The Skyline thing. And people would get angry that his semi was parked there. The neighbors across the road would get was parked there and so it's they not would, a super wide road it was fine it wasn't a big deal it's not a busy road like it's like everyone parks on the street people park their fifth wheels and rvs on the street it's it's not just it wasn't and hit it was not just him i will give him that it was a lot of other neighbors but they got angry because when they looked out their window they didn't see the beautiful nature they are the house across the street they <laughs> saw a truck and that was their ultimate problem a truck so in a neighborhood in a neighborhood 
So, believe it or not, Skagit State, or Skagit State, Skagit County actually changed the law to prevent Dave from parking on the street. No joke. It did happen. He was definitely targeted. I, I will give him that. But he, he um, so anyway, he got upset. He was like, we don't want animals here. He goes, I have a right to load up animals and transport them from point A to point B. I'm stopping at my house to change and take a shower, and then I'm leaving and going on the road. I'm not staying here. Well, it started this whole controversy and this whole conflict. They called the cops, all this stuff. So the very next week, he went and he took his 15,000 watt system and he played nature noises in the back of his truck as loud as they would go and went inside. So you just hear, ah, work, 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 work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it was just like, it was like oh, ah. and then they called the cops and they're like, he illegally has animals here and yada, yada, yada. And he opens up the back and it's just the speakers playing animal noises. Anyway, that was the kind of crap that we grew up with. It was just constant vendettas of immature, mine is bigger than yours kind of thing. Does he really have anything over there? The it's got the, the yeah, trailer park. Um, mm-hmm. Morning, everyone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Can you believe that? It's going That's quick. Insane. I'm so far behind. Do you know what I... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm so like this. This is what I do on this day. Is like, it's, it's gone. Throwing my, uh, not being here Monday really does throw the week right? off, doesn't it? I know, I was going to get meat today, and I just, I couldn't, I'm going to get it tomorrow. And Jacob's like, I already have seven boxes on top for you. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> so it's going to be another big meat run. Uh, but I got to take totes. Nice. Okay. There's lots of totes up top. And then yeah, I got to take lots of I totes. I threw two tomorrow. away. Okay. So I'll take totes for picking up tomorrow, because my car is full of Amazon goodness. Amazon goodness. Not excited. Is absolutely this exciting. I know. So I'm super, super excited. Um, I will just say... <clears throat> Speaking of Amazon goodness, <coughs> what you guys got for cargo? The hooded skunk. He's gonna love it, or she's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Yeah, she's. This is super cute. If I come in here and cargo's in here in a little blankie, I'm right? just gonna absolutely just be smitten. <gasps> I, should I be had a little two chicken strips, and my cat and dog got most of it. Uh oh, they eat your breakfast or lunch? Hopefully, lunch. Chicken strips is not really a good breakfast. I uh. I made an example. Wasn't yesterday like National Nugget Day? So, like, really? National Nugget Who Day. Who knows that? Everybody knows. <laughs> 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 it's National Nugget Day today, guys. I didn't have nuggets, but I. Chicken strip nugget? It's just a long nugget. <laughs> uh, we don't know for 100% sure cargo is a girl <gasps> yet. We're assuming. We are assuming that. Patience. She cargo won't lay in. Because. He and Odie, or she and Odie, kind of fancy each other. Well, so do the tortoises, but... No, but but very petite. Very petite. I don't see any extras. <laughs> <laughs> On the back. Can you see that in the tail? Yeah, it sticks it straight up. Have you ever seen an unneutered skunk? Well, it's, it's cold. It's like awesome. It's cold outside. <laughs> it wasn't. I have never seen those little nuggets. Uh. We're going to go look at all the stuff and that, that he donated to the business. Um, it was an honor to be able to uh, have that meeting last night. And so we're really excited um, we do for the generosity tools. that has been and is being provided for the organization. Um, we've raised, you know, quite a bit of money, about, I would say about $46,000 thus far until January. We have a few things going that we're just gonna announce here really fast, um, and then we'll go see the Amazon goodness and go see a couple animals, and then we gotta go because we have a ton to do. Okay, hold on. It's lagging for everyone really bad. Do you have a lot of things? Okay, TikTok, hold on. All right, we'll see if we'll see if that works any better for you. Um, yes, we have tortoises. We do. So. Here's what we have going today. We're gonna to go see the, all the the goodness. I didn't get to see everything that he gave, um, but he, you know, he gave it to me last night, and um, I didn't have a chance to look through all of it because we had, we had talked for quite a bit. So anyway, we're very grateful for that. Very grateful for the generosity. We should be great until uh, January. Um, we are. There's a lot happening. There's a lot transpiring. Can't talk about it, but we do have a few 
exciting things that we can talk about. Uh, the first thing that we can talk about is that, so everyone is aware, our, looks like, I have to confirm this, but it's looking like our work day, our volunteer day, is going to be on the 25th of November, which is Saturday after Thanksgiving. There is going to be a limited amount of positions or spaces open for volunteers. We're going to have four groups of people. So we're probably going to, we're going to offer up to 20 people. So that way Holly can have five, Jeremy can have five, I can have five, and Bryce can have five to be able to get some very essential projects done around here. People who do volunteer, I do need you to be very physically able to, as, as hard as that is to say, I need you to be able to lift 50 pounds, like, like repetitively. Um, we're gonna be moving panels, we're gonna be remulching, we're gonna be regraveling, we're gonna be, there's, we have a list of projects, we're gonna be leaf blowing. The only minor projects that I will have available is going to be cutting all of the debris away from our electrical fences, which is gonna be a task in itself. Um, bring your gloves. Bring your gloves, and yeah. No short, the short, and shorts. And don't worry, those who, we will have all of that posted of how you can sign up to volunteer for that day. Um, and we're hoping that we have the military out here also on that day, but they're kind of... Um, oh, don't fly out here to help. Yeah. No, no. Um, so it's going to be on the 25th, so the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be <clears throat> meeting with Bryce to go over some projects and stuff that I want to get done. Um, and we're going to be setting that all up. Uh, we're going to be cleaning and organizing. I will only have a few tasks that aren't re repetitively lifting weight throughout the day. And that's going to be going through our back rooms and getting stuff thrown away um, and doing all that kind of stuff. And that's going to be like something that's pretty driven by, we just want to get rid of crap. We, we want we want to get it deep cleaned out here and get reorganized and get resituated so that we can pivot at the fullest. Um, and even more exciting news after that, we're coming up to Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday is the Tuesday that follows Thanksgiving. It happens every year. It's one of the biggest donation days of the entire year. We are going to be doing something very, very special, and we're actually working out all of the logistics right now. If any of you know me, you know that there, or my board of directors, or the staff out here, there are two things that really matter to us, and that is animals and kids. Um, kids are very, 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 very special to us because they are these amazing sponges that are going to be the next generation to come up and hopefully save the planet, to be quite honest. And we, if we have even the remote little bit of hint of their spark of interest of that, we're doing our job, we're doing it well. So what we're going to be offering is for every $50 that is donated to the organization on Giving Tuesday, we are going to be donating a package of things to the Children's Hospital and to possibly the Ronald McDonald Fund, um, things like that. We're currently working with the hospitals to see if there's going to be a time where Holly, April, Jessica, and myself can go down and physically give these kids Christmas gifts. So what's going to be happening is every $50 that comes in, they'll be getting a plushie or coloring book and a thank you card and hang in there. You're doing a great job, kiddo. And then we're also going to be offering a virtual tour for all of those children um, on a date after the new year. Um, and we're going to be doing like a three day virtual tour for these kids to be able to join in and be able to see us and hang out with us and learn about animals. And, you know, they can enjoy it at the comfort of their of their hospital bed because these kids are, are stuck to beds and we want to provide them with something and a special experience. Even though we can't do it on site, if we have even the, the little bit of giving them a good day or something where they can just feel like they can interact with us, um, that's going to be a really special day for us. So. Uh, coffee was donated, actually. She yeah, didn't... Matthew, thank you so much for donating a gift card to the staff. Thank you. <coughs> thank you so much. We were so grateful for that. Um, and it's got... National Steve Irwin Day. I saw that. Is it really? Yeah, that's and it's fantastic. The Irwins do a lot of great work, so that you know. And man, I wish Steve could still be around to see all the work his kids are doing for him because they're amazing. They're really amazing people. Yeah, and his wife and all of that. So that's really cool. Um, but we <laughs> is that was that a TikTok comment? I'm sorry, TikTok. 
Uh, let me just explain to you what really pisses me off. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Here we go. This, this really gets to me, okay? If you even remotely comment on coffee that we are drinking from Starbucks. Oh, I thought you were going with a Steve Irwin comment. I'm like, I, <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Steve? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it, okay? I work 80 hours a week to keep these animals safe. I donate my entire paycheck right now back to the organization so that we can stay afloat. So before you come on here and judge me for having <laughs> coffee, and which I didn't even pay for, that one of our followers sent us and said, hey, you work so hard. Thank you for all that you do. Here is a treat for you and your staff. Here is a $50 gift card. Enjoy a few coffees on me. Just, you know what? Until you start donating your time to charity and until you start doing all the stuff that we do on a daily basis, don't sit here and judge myself and my staff. They deserve so much more than a coffee here and there. They deserve a massive raise for all that they work and all that they do for the organization. And it just really, really bothers me when people come on here and just say, how dare you treat yourself to a moment of chestnut praline bliss to... It's bliss. Thank you for the stars, Lord. Which is just, you know what? It's super, super frustrating. So if you want to come donate your time and your paycheck to the organization and you want to work for free, then you come out here and you can enjoy the every once in a while coffees that you're able to get. Also, me donating my time, it also does not require me to donate my husband's entire paycheck to the organization because I'm already donating my time away from my kids, my family, my daily responsibilities as a wife and a mother. I sacrifice a lot of that and my kids have sacrificed a lot of their mom time so that I can make sure that these animals are safe, healthy, and strong. And my children have donated a lot of their time out here. So yes, I am enjoying my coffee today that was donated by one of our followers. Don't sit and judge other people unless you're walking in their shoes. That is what have been the, one of the biggest things. When I get information about other sanctuaries, I'm not walking in their shoes. <laughs> looking, I don't know you're not situation. looking to see if they have a coffee in their hand. I swear to God, I'm so sick of it. And it only happens on the TikTok platform. I swear to God, when people come on there, they're just like, well, you shouldn't drive a 2007 Cadillac Escalade that you got for $15,000 and paid cash for. Maybe sell your Escalade and get 80 grand. It was $15,000, ladies and gentlemen. You could have sold it for 80 grand. You could have had it. it. Uh, you still have an opportunity to buy it. <laughs> still buy it sitting in front of my house right now because I didn't want to take five dollars on trading and we have a lot of mods to uh giving their time we do we have a lot of mods giving their time and doing all this stuff board but members giving their you time judge people about oh you should sit there and drink coffee you're welcome to come out and donate your time to the organization <laughs> and we can go from there uh after that comment i wouldn't recommend you come out here <laughs> well, they can come out they can come out i will put you to work oh Yay. lord yeah if you want to start moving bullshit and pee gravel and, and box cleaning and picking up poo and all that kind of stuff and yes. volunteer your time i am more good, than welcome to have good you point here. april the majority of, of you guys are absolutely amazing yeah <laughs> <laughs> they want to see your tattoo no it's it's messy right now because it has it, i just got it has goo on it yeah I just got it, so it's, it's the peeling process right now. So it's not as red. Right. No, it's not as red. Yes, Dan, you give a lot of your time. Also, we all. I, do. I love, I love it. But I tell you what, man. <laughs> Get her all worked <laughs> up already. Me off. Let me cast the first stone. Is how I look at it. Don't cast a stone unless you're not you're not having it and. For people who have other addictions and stuff in their life, like as far as like Which Red Bull can't. or Coca-Cola, I don't sit here and judge you for going out and buying, unless it's Holly, for buying Coke and drinking that. Well, let's get this clear. I do love Coke. I you do. don't drink it that often. Most I of us. I like once a month, if yeah. that. No, I know. I Most of us are BWM. That's I true. I know, but it just, it just pisses me. I don't judge other people for that. I like... When I have friends that are like, I went to the spa, or if I see people on there like, yeah, I just had a spa day, I'm sitting there going, good on you. I you deserve that. it. I know I don't get when my I spa said, day. So, no, when I said I bought myself a Christmas present. Not to... Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's different. I have a massage chair in my garage you could have bought. So not... <laughs> For $139? At this point, if it gets out of my garage, sure. 
Deal. <laughs> I seem to remember someone saying to me this morning, so you're drinking liquid death this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I did because you're so like, you don't, you're like, I don't <laughs> like it. So that's why I was giving you crap. Hmm. I don't like liquid death. And then you're like, as I walk in this morning. I would buy you your, your favorite coffee and deliver it to you and drink one with you. Oh. And I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you. I just, <laughs> Uh, do you know how I can add BWM to my birthday donation on Facebook? I can't find it. It's under Predators of the Heart. Uh, so if you go into the link in our bio, my tax ID number is in there. It's the 9-1-10-9-5, or 91-195-1095. It will pull up Predators of the Heart. That's our legal name is Predators of the Heart, doing business as because we matter, exotic animal rescue. So um, Peeling process is the worst. I have lots of tattoos. Are you planning on coloring them in? Absolutely not. No, I, I like black and gray. That's my, that's my jam. You see um, your outfit? Everything but the shoes. <laughs> this is a very valid <laughs> point. These are my favorite non-colors. <laughs> um, black, white, and gray. And depending on who you ask, even her heart. It's very black. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very, very small. Um, oh my. Hey, Grinch. You're a mean one. Mr. Mr. Grinch. Grinch. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go see what's in the back of my truck. Yeah. I need a pick me up from the comment of, well, then maybe you shouldn't drink a coffee this morning. Anyway. That's not what they said. What'd they say then? Another expensive coffee in her hand. Basically <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> that is the exact same thing. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> I, can't, I can't worry that's, about it. That's basically I can't saying, worry about it. have you seen my weenie pics or have you seen Why do you keep bringing pics? that up? That... <laughs> <laughs> early Christmas people. Too early. Too early for Christmas. It it's is, never too I know. Early. I need to be happy and Christmas makes to me happy. To the season to be jolly and joyous. You are not oh. grinchy, Ashley. Oh, I know I'm not. You have the biggest heart. I have a heart, that's for sure. It's broken time and time again. But I I do get I do get very upset when people <laughs> don't even know what's in my cup. Heather. Maybe this is just a black cup of coffee that cost me a dollar twenty-five this morning. Mm. Heather says a comeback to the coffee comment. How much did you spend on that phone you're watching this on? But um bum. Mine were free. So Yeah, were they? They were. How much time have you spent on customer no, service? Out. Milo, out. Come on. Out. You guys make me laugh. Hey, hey, don't close that. Come on, get your butt moving. Oh, it's chilly out here. I know. We've been in Got there. It nice and warm. Well, I got a fantastic text message from Kat the other day. She said that she has a brand new dog and that she can't believe how well the techniques that I trained her are working. Really? Oh my. Very excited about that. Uh, yeah, she reuses her cups all the time. I do too. The same day. I swear to God, dude. No, I recycle them. Stop. Hi, I see you. Stop. It's enough. That's enough. No, uh, 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 uh. I told them. Sit down. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to the veterans. Any veterans served into your guys' family? Yes, I yeah. have veterans in my family for I sure. I have lots of veterans in my family. I have one couple in mine also. Not my fa my parents, but my family members. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Just a little butt wiggle. Ooh. Are you ready for this? I brought both my hand warmers. I brought my heated vest. Not that I need it, but... That rabbit food? Yep. We have five bags now. The bag down below that we needed to return. Do you want me to? No. <coughs> Two more bags that Heather just sent in also that are on your station. Ooh. It said Ash's bar and I didn't want to open it without talking to you first. No, that's sure. that's okay. two. That's from Heather. But the other one, do you want it up here? Or? No. Oh, it used. This 
was donated last night. So this, these three bags of rabbit food. This is all from one very generous donor. Somehow they'll eat all that and put out twice as much in rabbit poop. <laughs> Getting our gardens ready for the winter. Exactly. <laughs> so there's that. Yuck, sticky. You have another job interview today. Good luck, Stephanie. Yeah, good luck. I can't do it. Ugh, gross. Stick. Okay. Then. A whole bunch of. We should have enough for each one of our walls now. Her toys. Not wow. It's like beer. You drink one and you pee three. <gasps> My Salvador ball! Oh, it's freaking huge. Wow, those are... Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you so much! That's Isn't that awesome. awesome? Oh my gosh! Thank you, Danielle. Hallelujah! That is so fantastic! Hallelujah. Oh my god! They are legit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes. Oh my golly, 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 gosh. Is, is that a Yeti? No. They do look kind of Yeti ish, though, they don't do. they? They do. These are 12 cup dishwasher safe. Which, what's our blender? 12 cup. Perfect. That's so awesome. Ready? Vertical. Heater. Um, Danny says you're welcome. I don't. For that something? Gators? I don't know yet. I don't know what one it is. It's open on the other end. I saw that. Woo. So this. Oh no, this is the vertical infrared heater. So great. So this can actually be used for the birds when you have that. <laughs> if it drops out, picking. I'm being somewhat careful here. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So this had a very, very, very good review. We are trying to switch over to as much um, electric as we can to save on propane. Of course, we always have to have our propane running in case power goes out. Oh, you adopted one of the wolves. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you, Jim. Which one? Hey, who do you adopt? Your... Red light therapy heater. Or the two of them in there? This oh, no. is the okay. stand for it. Oh, 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 oh. This is so cool. So, man, that is one of the better packed uh, heaters I have gotten in my day. In your days? In my days of getting heaters. And we've gotten a few here. We've gotten quite a few here. You keep looking for the lion to adopt. You probably won't see the lion for a little while longer. Are you talking about April? Because she's so. not. April the lion. She's not for sale. Symbolic adoption. Look at that. Man. Is it mall, mall, wall mountable? No. So this is super cool. That's because it has the automatic shut off of the tips. Or gets too hot. I don't know why it comes with. Oh, this is a weighted one. Oh wow! Versus another weighted one. <laughs> Are they? So thank you for that. That's huge. Don't want to hurt that. Oh my! This is so fantastic. Yep, like April the lion. Look we need you. to have another drawing day. Another drawing day? She's she's a busy girl. Oh, you're right. And I don't want to force it and break it. 
Oh, let's go the other way. Like this. For you. Oh, is there, there is a clip, huh? Yeah, on both sides. You won't, you won't break it. Yeah, I've been known to break a lot of things. You, yeah, you have. That's very true. <laughs> Polly's very good for uh, breaking stuff. Um. Got you added to my Facebook birthday donations. Thank you, Jolene. That's awesome. And happy early birthday. Yeah. Look at that. Ta-da! Cool beans! Cool then, beans. <laughs> those are the screws for the bottom of that. Let's see what else. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Wow. Oh, that's so awesome. For my awesome. New World Primate Diet. Yeah. Oh, these are so cool. So these are like little, 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 little leafy biscuits for them. Oh, they're so tiny. They're such little leafy biscuits. Three bags of those. Does it have, I wonder if it has the, the gum in it mixed in with it and stuff like that. It should. It says, this diet is specially formulated for small species of New World Primates. It is a complete life cycle diet made by using high energy formula made with quality ingredients the diet is highly <laughs> compatible and readily consumed uh, it's vitamin d vitamin c and it's from exotic nutrition so oh, it's wow. good primates generally eat two to four percent of their body weight per day the diet will be allowed to be mixed with other foods for supplements if mixed the diet should consist of less than one half of the food consumed by weight thank you for always the provide plenty of fresh water to drink so Danny did has done Nitro, Odie, and Echo. Oh gosh, thank you. I'll send it. I, we will get those to you. Thank you so much. Um, I also have to work on that today. My list of like computer work is okay. So it's huge, but that's okay. I pre I appreciate the work. I'm so grateful for it. A reminder list for Ashley. <laughs> A hose. That's a hefty hose. Farm, land, feet. hose, a hundred footer. Mm -mm. So awesome. We don't mess around. Not with our hundred foot hoses, we don't. Okay, let's see here. Then, I'm so excited for those. I'm going to watch them here these days. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so honored that this is such a blessing. Now this is the bird box. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. And That's a bird it. box, all right. Wow. Bird. Bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. And every single bird will get a brand new rope. We except, are set on everyone to get new. Except for Ferdy. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> you head through here. He, he might even destroy it as fast as... <laughs> Is there a smaller one I can maybe do for it is very incredible. <laughs> we can give Tora one. She like, tries to fly through it. No, the dove can. You can hang that for a dove. It's just extra. Uh, there is extra. Okay. We got quite a bit, which is fantastic because they like to chew on that. We got three new play all. Ferrets would love the box. Beef. Beef flavor. Beef what? Tennis balls. Then guess oh. what? We got. Three. Does it smell beefy? We got three. It smells like pepper. Three X X X L. X X X. Three X's. <gasps> L beds. Wow. That's so awesome. It's fantastic. Now every cougar can have one. Every cougar will have a brand new can fit them then use your teeth i'm trying not to say no stephanie's watching <laughs> show she's watching <laughs> i know you don't know how big of a challenge this is for me stephanie not to just <laughs> <laughs> rip it open give it to milo Koba milo with waterproof cover <laughs> cougars are going to absolutely 
love, love it. this more than anything in the world. Especially this soft lining. Yeah, but are you ready? Oh, that's gigantic. That's what she said. <laughs> Come on now. It's a family oh, yeah. show. <laughs> well, I'm going to put these in today. <laughs> Waterproof. I know. I like that. That is a great feature because I do have one cougar that likes to pee on his bed. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Salvador size. Salvador would destroy yeah, it. Yeah, he... These. these are actually expensive, so... We got an extra tough bed for him last year for Christmas, and it lasted like two weeks before he just... It. I think it's up top. What's left of it? Yeah, what left? I need, just need to toss it because we don't have all the parts. For a bed? Yeah. His bed has like the uh, Nikki really said those bed. beds are amazing and don't use your teeth. I didn't. I didn't use my teeth. You want to stick that bad boy in there? Uh, so this. Yeah, good thing all the kids are in school with <laughs> Ashley there. Why does it have bumps on the bottom? Is it just not. No, the other side. It's it's deep, it's 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 expanding. Expanding. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, bud. What do you think? Does that look like a Milo size bed? It is a Milo size bed, but you don't get it. Milo, you're such a leaner. Leaner. Is that what he said? A leaner. leaner. Okay. I heard something else. <laughs> I did too. Guys, I swear. I think those are at home. <laughs> I do have three of those at home. Oh, Dan. My boat does. He puts all of his body weight on you. God, who would have thought? These are giant. These are big. This is fantastic. Everyone else heard something else. Yes, leaner, <laughs> leaner with an L. He's a leaner. He likes to lean on you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Like he's doing right now. Just pushes right. And Kova all the way down there. That's so big. That two of those will fill that entire box. I know. Was it my tie? Is this your size? Is this your size? Are we have to get you one for at home? What about you, Kova Boba? Oh goodness. So well, thank you so much. That's that that's great. We got three No. We got three of those. Um to oh, have for the cougars. Mm, your 45 minutes is up. It's a short live today, guys. Oh my gosh. So anyway, and then Jinx gets a box. The ferrets would like it too. Jinx! Get the box. <laughs> I gotta get the ferret screen thing done today too. Um. Anyway, I'm very excited. So let's just go give them one little toy real quick, and then I'm gonna get the heaters and stuff set up on my own time. Raccoons absolutely love this. This is this is beef, is what this ball is. You wanna smell it, Holly? I already smelled the one I opened. You. The peanut butter. This is this is beef. No, I smelled the beef one. Well, this one actually does smell like beef. I don't want to eat beef. These are strong. strong. <laughs> smell like beef and rubber. <laughs> it just makes me remember that TikTok. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. What's this? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. What is that? You remember that TikTok? The girl goes, I smell like beef. It was like a little, it was so weird. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember that at all. Not um, you trying to smell the phone. <laughs> People are trying to smell their phone. He's like Rudolph. He's such a slender St. Bernard. In his chest. Is he? Yeah. Like, come this mm -hmm. direction and look at him. He's filling out his chest. <laughs> I love him. Okay. All right, let's go get the raccoons a, a beef. 
a beef ball. That sounds great. Got some beef balls. Squeakers heard it too. Chloe is staying warm right now. She is down below. I must drown it. Above you, they're below you. They're like, we smell chestnut chest, they're pretty lean. I don't like this. What are they? These this. Hi, Percy. <laughs> Percy's, Percy's the kind of raccoon that's like. Hi, Percy. Percy's, Percy's the kind of raccoon that's like. I got everyone, <laughs> everyone blessed me. I have been so blessed today. We have been very blessed today. No, they're oh. blessing me Aww. for sneezing. Oh, bless you. <gasps> Milo! Hi! <laughs> Why, what? Why did you put the black fabric on the entrance gate? Are you talking about what you just walked through? Oh, so that they have privacy down here? So the animals have privacy? It's a, it's more of a shade cloth. Yeah. We do that so that people can't just see down here with them. And when we did our tours and stuff, it kept people from walking to the fence to do, you know, they, you know, observe. So it just kept them mm -hmm. private. Keeps fingers out too. Mm-hmm. So. Not that there's anything to. I was like trying to think of like, what black shade? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm what like, what? You at? It gives the squirrel something to climb. Hi there. Okay, you know what? You guys are not entertaining. I'm giving it squeakers. Yep, squeakers is ready. It's like I hear it. I hear that ball. One. Um. <laughs> actually, that's. that's no, not just working. throw it in there. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see if I could get him to pull it through, but. Oh. Make sure my expensive coffee doesn't spill over this morning. Yeah, make the tree grow. Squeak! Yes, Holly's leaking. Huh? <laughs> You're... That's what he comes to. That is very good. Squeakers, known as the Kodamundi or Kawadi. Related to the raccoon family, enjoying the new squeaky toy from a generous donor. Uh, he likes the smell of the beef. <laughs> is, is the neighbor still trying to get us out? Yes, they are. Very appropriately named. Yes, he is very squeaky. Not right now, but he does. Now they're chatting over there going, wait a minute, where'd that ball go? <laughs> he actually wants my chestnut praline. He really likes coffee. He really does. Hi, sweet boy. How are and you? And we only boy? give them the best. <laughs> That's a joke, guys. We don't give our animals coffee like that. No. Like, You're shivering, <laughs> squeaks. Can I, get, your can I get an eight ounce glass for my kawati? I tried to get Starbucks to sponsor me because I was like, here, look, see, look how bad he wants a coffee cup. So Squeakers um, is from South America, so this is a little cold for them. He does have a heated box right up there that has a chicken coop heater and some extra blankets in it. And he likes to burrito himself in them. And um, but why, don't, why don't you go back up to You're your box? You're shivering, buddy. It's cold. It is actually very cold out here today. Um, Have we been up there to test it? Make sure it's still... I was going to test it again today. Yeah, it was working. It was working, yeah, when I first plugged it in about a month ago. Yeah, <laughs> but I got to change his blankets, so... Real quick. 
You want to just pull the blankets for me then? Nope, he's got coffee, so he's good. <laughs> what is, when I got here, it was 38 degrees. My house was at 32. Yeah, my house was at 32 when I left. Well, in, yeah, your inside was 36. What was the outside? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it says it's 42, but it really doesn't feel like 42. Pull those blankies. There's two in there. Every week, gotta pull them. <laughs> your corn! It's your corn! You're gonna want, um... To clean that out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like, I know. But when the blankets are out, it makes it easier. It does. Well, that whole thing pops right off. And that's not easy for us. No. It's easier for us just like, to grab blankets. Oh. Whew, those stink. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> His blankets get so nasty, so you have to wet. change them every week. Well, so squeakers, what he does is, one thing with Coda Mondays is they like to mark themselves, and they actually, why do you throw it towards me? Well, I'm not going to throw it towards me. We'll throw it away from us. Is the heat working? Uh, it was working on, um, when did I go up there? Last Friday. Is that when I did it? I'm up? saying it worked when I plugged it in a month ago. Well, I checked it the other day, too. Okay. Yeah. So. But he, he, was, pull, he was pulling on that. So, anyway, this is Squeaks. Squeaks is another Dakota Monday. We're going to go get him his blankets. We're going to get his box changed out. We don't want this guy to be cold. Um, right, Heather? <laughs> we want to make sure. I know my sweet little squeaky, 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 squeaky. I know squeaky. I know squeaky. So, Heather says, okay, tall, long arm guy. The top pops right off. We're short. It's, there's a ladder. Everyone that, gets right up there. Do you know how hard it is to carry that down a ladder? He started pooping on that ladder, so it's not exactly the... <laughs> yeah, go wash you your hands. <laughs> <laughs> the ladder before you climb it. <laughs> on that note... Hi, buddy. We're going to go get Squeakers a new heater, and we're going to... Uh, or get this one repaired, because he probably pulled the cord in. Sometimes he disconnects it, but it was working on Thursday. Um, or Friday. Whenever I did the smalls last is when I checked it. But, um... Exactly. The ladder doesn't br bridge the gap. It's like, like this typical talk of tall people, right? I know. Where they're just like... It's so easy. You know, like, but I it's a, not. I have a step stool in my kitchen because I can't reach my second shelf in my cupboards. I do you know? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> without standing on my tiptoes. And sometimes I'll lift my, my daughter onto the counter and say, grab that for me because I can't reach it. You know, so. Well, my stool doesn't really stay in my kitchen anymore. Oops. When Allie comes over, she moves it from, like, the bathroom, over to the Christmas tree, just everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's Ryland, too. Except for Ryland, she went downstairs and she took my workouts, my workout stools. So I have, like, the stackable workout stools so I can do, like, Bulgarian squats and things like that. And so, like, I came upstairs and she had taken one of my stool platforms off and brought it upstairs and put it in the corner of the kitchen. And it was dark out. It's like I walked to go onto the counter and I like slammed my foot into the sharp part oh. underneath the stool. And I'm like, why is my workout stool up here? And Ryland's like, I couldn't find my collapsible one. So I went downstairs and got this one. I'm like, why wouldn't you grab a like a, a dining room chair? And she's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, right. Is he soft? Yeah, he's very soft. I gotta get him a blanket. So anyway, thank you guys for following us. Thank you again for the donations. We gotta get his box cleaned out. We gotta get him back up there so he can be nice and warm. It is very, very, very cold here today. Um, and we don't ever want our animals to be cold. We added extra blankets in everybody. He's not from here, so this is colder for him. Um, even though he's been through six winters now, it still is just a thing where he just really loves his heated box. Um, and you know how it is going from a heated Thanks box out to the cold. You're going, so that's yep. kind of where he's at. I know, babies. I love you so much. I love you so much. But, oh, his teeth are chattering. Okay, let's go get stuff. So thank you guys for following. We'll see you guys soon. 
Um, get ready to watch our Giving Tuesday. Every 50, donate back to the Children's Hospital uh, for a gift from the business in honor of you. Um, so we're super, super excited Kawadi. about that. Very, very important. Um, we just, if, if there's any way that we can give back, what? Keep getting whiffs. Of that? Yes, I usually take it straight up. Is it bad that I can't smell it at all? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is ruined. Uh, the last time I could smell correctly is when I actually hit myself in the nose with some pliers and almost broke it. And it bled for like, I don't know, probably about an hour straight. And then I could smell after that. And then three days later, it was gone again. The joys of a deviated septum. So, can I touch your butt? Should we go get... Okay, guys, we are going to see you probably tomorrow. Yep, thank you, guys. Bye, have a great day. Where's, Wait, you're Where's the stop button on TikTok? There it goes.